Here, you can load this up for me, I guess. I mean, I have, I have a clip in it. A magazine? A clip. Wow, a magazine? <laughs> a mag, you have a magazine I have in a it? clip in there. A magazine? <laughs> Crap, it's film a magazine! Damn it. Damn it. Sunday gun day. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Sunday gun day once again. Welcome to Testies. And David's here. <laughs> not Testies. This isn't well, Testies. Well, I guess we are testing stuff and telling you how it is. Yeah. It's it, just not with our mouths. <laughs> this is going to be a gun form of Testies. So I really wasn't going to film a video today. I knew that I said that I was going to do a Sunday gun day as often as possible. We're a little hungover from last night, not going to lie. You should watch the 50k party Q&A video right here. It's, it was pretty good. What do you call this kind of episode that you're doing right now? Sunday gun day. Sunday gun day! <laughs> Maybe you should check it one more time, just to make sure it's safe. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Okay, good. Check it one more time. All joking aside, <laughs> it's safe. There's, not, there's nothing in it. So today I'm gonna be shooting the Ruger LC9, LC9S, what does the S mean? Super awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what the S means. So I've never shot an LC9 before. I've played with them a couple times. I'm just not a big fan of the trigger. Maybe this will change my mind about it. This is just gonna be a completely first impression type of video. I'm gonna test it out and tell you how it is. <laughs> Wait, are you a professional gun shooter? I am not a professional gun shooter. Do you know a lot about guns? I know a decent amount about guns. You're just gonna give everybody your opinion on this gun. And just because I'm giving you my opinion on the gun doesn't mean that I'm asking for your opinion about how I shoot guns or your opinion on this gun. But I'm sure you're gonna tell them anyway. I'm sure you're gonna tell us anyway. <laughs> So this is a single stack, nine millimeter. It kind of fits into the same role that my Glock 43 does. It's super slim and compact as opposed to a double stack like my 19 that I carry sometimes. It is seven and one in the chamber. What else do I need to know about it? Gundy! All right, long trigger pull. Jesus. Yeah. I didn't know when it was going to break. All right. <laughs> Reset super far away, too. All right. I, I, get, I get it. By the way, the ammo we're shooting today doesn't matter because they're not sponsoring this video. If you want to sponsor this video and send me some ammo to test out, I'll gladly shoot it. I'm gonna see if I can put them down quicker this time. We got a special guest today since it's Mother's Day. My wonderful birth giver, this is my mom. She's never shot a handgun before, right? No. So we ran over the basics with her and this is gonna be her first time ever shooting. Am I hitting it? Try to control the trigger, go real slow and then the break, you almost want it to surprise you. It looks better. Yeah, you want your focus to be on the front sight post. Oh, now that's better. Okay. Hey, there you go. Oh, he's doing a dance. <laughs> nice. Two for two. Headshot. Wow, Talon, you're really good at editing these videos to make it look like she hits all of them. Headshot. All four. <laughs> Proud of you. Tell us your professional opinion on this gun. 
fucking thing, thing sucks! sucks. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we just put 50 rounds through the LC9S. I think it changed my opinion on it, to be honest with you. Originally, I really didn't like the trigger, but the trigger is made to be a, basically a pocket carry gun. It's supposed to be safe. So the long take up, the long reset, it kind of makes sense. It's only gonna go off when you want it to go off. It is predictable. Once once you shoot it for a while, it did get pretty predictable. I'm sure if I put 100, 200 rounds through it, you could get get pretty quick and accurate with it. Sights are nice, the ergonomics are pretty good. The grip is really, really small compared to like the 43. It's even skinnier than a 43 in my opinion. I don't have it to compare side by side right now, but the ergonomics do feel pretty good. This is a gun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say. It, it's, it's a decent gun. Would I recommend it to someone? I guess. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Can I shoot your custom Glock that everybody either likes or hates or think is from Grand Theft Auto? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and your bike's really loud. All right, so Dave wants to shoot my agency. I still have to do a follow-up video on this. I only have 300 rounds through it, but I haven't been shooting it a lot. You guys saw the last time I shot it. Once I get to a thousand rounds, I'll let you know. Do a full, do a full review of it. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. uh. I was literally trying to blow your two by four off. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Shooting a red dot for the first time, I'm still getting used to it. I only put 300 rounds through it, like I said. But as a first time shooter, what do you think of it? I mean, it makes it really easy to like acquire the target and actually get the gun down range. You don't have to like, you know, get it to the right level and you can still see where the red dot's gonna be on the target, which is really nice. All right, your truck's really loud, we get it. What? <laughs> I completely agree though, it makes target acquisition way quicker. You just kind of put the dot where you want it to go and just press off however many rounds you want. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, it's like riding a bike. By the way, I've been shooting guns since I was six. In no way does that make me a professional firearm shooter. I just like to shoot guns. They know. <laughs> they can tell by your stance. This kid's a fucking noob! Look how he's standing and holding the gun! <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed Wait, this. Wait, no, I don't want to be in the background. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday. That day. about suns up, Gundy Fundy. I'm just kidding, start over. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for Sunday. Gundy! <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in to another Sunday gun day. Thank you. I can't you. do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. We're doing it live! Alright, that's it for today guys. Thank you for tuning in to another Sunday Gun Day. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and let me know what you want to see on the next Sunday Gun Day down in the comments below. Thank you to Dave for letting me shoot your gun. Yep. As always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.